Hey guys, it's Terry from Waving My Wand, and today I'm making a um, fall tag recipe album. This is a little mini album that I've made using um, papers from Cartabella, the Hel uh, Hello Fall and Fall Break collection. And I'll be featuring products from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L today, including I wanted to show you how to make this little pumpkin here. Um, this was a pumpkin that uh, like a little fold-up pumpkin that I made using a hand-drawn image and I used my scan and cut to create that and so um, I'll probably have um, videos on how I did that on my social media but I wanted to show you how to put this little pumpkin together first um, that's going to be the topper for our album and so that's going to be the first thing that we do so I have six pumpkin shapes, and uh, I used six of these to make each one of my little pop-up fold-outs. And when I cut this, and when I first I drew it out, and I made a little notch here because this is where my little stem is going to go. And can you see that? There we go. All right. But I've got six of these, and I really want just the plaid design to show up. So what we're going to do is just simply fold each one of these in half and we're going to fold it from the plaid side inwards. Super simple. And you can just, you know, draw your own little pumpkin if you'd like um, as a template and cut out a bunch of these. This is about uh, two and a half by three and a half inches, I believe. And, oops, I almost started to do that one wrong. So that gives you an idea of the dimensions, and I, sometimes I can't talk and work at the same time. Do you have that problem? I have tunnel vision, and I have a one-track mind. So, um, and plus, it's it's been a busy, busy week, and I've got a lot on my mind. As of this video, it's not Thanksgiving just yet. So anyway, I got interrupted, interrupted by my husband who called and totally messed up my video. Thank you for that, Marty. <laughs> but okay, so I've got all of my little pumpkins folded and we're going to take the Easy Grand Runner and we're going to adhere these together. So I'm just going to start with um, one side. And by the way, I use the uh, permanent ultra strong cartridge on the inside of mine. Um, it comes with a different cartridge, but this is super, super sticky, and it's my favorite. So then we're going to just go ahead and make sure you get your, make sure you line these up properly so that your notches are all at the top, and we're just going to go ahead and adhere that, all right, and then, so you'll see that we've just got two that are just kind of stuck together, right? Okay, so we're going to continue to do that. I'll be sticking the next one on. So on and so forth. In fact, I think I'll just go ahead and quickly adhere all of these. And then we can be on with it. See how quick that is? All right. All right, so let's finish. We could just go to the next. Um, I think I did the wrong side. I'm going to have to do this side. All right. I'll just adhere these together and then we can finish with, let's see, there we go, one more, all right, oh, I don't have that right, see this is what happens when I get distracted, goodness gracious, the husband calls and totally throws me off my game, what can I say? Alrighty, there's one, and now this is ready to stick on here. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Oh, I gotta start this over. No, I don't. I'm gonna just stop. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Never mind. I just had a, a brain thing. Okay, here we go. Now, originally, what I had thought I would do with these is to... Oh, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot the stem in the middle. Woo, let's pull that out a little bit. 
Oh, me. It's been a day. What can I say? Maybe we shouldn't video on days that are like this. I don't know. What do you think? I've got some raffia ribbon here, and I'm just going to get a little bit, do about, let's do about this much. All right, I'm going to trim it so that we've got like three little stems, and I'm going to go ahead and just add some adhesive right here on both sides, just right in the middle like that. Nothing fancy. See? Nothing fancy. And I should have already stuck this down in here, but nope, I got distracted, as we all know, by the husband. Yeah, okay. So there we go. Now I want to trim this down just a little bit. It's a little longer than I would like. I'm going to go ahead and do it at a slant, like a stem should look. There we go. How's that? And this seems to be awfully zoomed in. All right, so we have our little pumpkin, and originally I thought about making some little place cards and using these pumpkins as a little place card at the Thanksgiving table, and then I realized uh, this project is going to go live after Thanksgiving, so I thought I'm going to augment this and do something different. So I made a little kind of a pop-up thing for my mini album. And so there is your little pop-up for your mini album, and then all you have to do is adhere this back side to the actual album. Did you catch that? See what I'm wearing? I got my bathrobe on. <laughs> That's right, we're in our pajamas. So this is what you would do is adhere this part right here, the flat side of your pop-up to the album. Simple, right? Okay, next thing we're going to do as far as embellishing this album, because that's really what this video is about, this is a little recipe keeper. And I don't know about you, but every time I go to Thanksgiving, somebody brings something that everybody has to have. You know, there's a recipe that somebody, everybody wants. So I've got some recipe cards in here that I stamped, and they look like this. And I've... Uh, used a dauber to um, edge, sponge edge around the recipe to give it a little bit of a, a distressed look. And I have like a recipe card here where you can list your ingredients, your directions, and then there's room for more on the back. And then there's a smaller version of the same card without the title, just in case you wanted to add more to your recipe. Or if you just want have a shorter recipe you wanna put on the other side. But I've got these little recipe cards scattered throughout, and um, you can add more if you like. This is the stamp that I used right here. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby when it was on clearance for $2.50. Can you believe that? And my son is a cook. He's a teenager. He's a culinary student and plans to be a gourmet chef one day. So who knows, I may fill this up with seasonal recipes and pass this down to him one day. But the next thing I'm gonna do for this little uh, recipe mini album is to um, add some embellishments with the, let's see, the foam leaf set from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. These are 3D foam leaves and they have um, adhesive on the top and on the bottom and so what you can do is you can foil these, you can add glitter to them. Can you see those? Um, here I'll show you something better. This right here. I started with this. I thought I would go ahead and foil a couple of these and then what I want to do is something a little different. I'm going to peel off the lining, remove the adhesive, and I'm going to try to watercolor or paint on some of those. And these are going to be some of my embellishments for my album. But before, I don't want to muddy up my foiled um, embellishments, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those here. And by the way, I used the foil, the gold foil. I had some leftover gold foil from my um, Creative Foam Embellishment Kit. And sometimes I'll just sprinkle it all up and then I'll foil with it and it get well, it, you could do like a mottled foil effect, but I just kept on using up all the excess foil that I had on here. You see that? 
And by the way, I have got ink all up under my fingernails, so don't mind that if you see. They're not dirty, they're inky. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and peel off the lining, and I'm just gonna do a bunch of these like at one time. So what I've done is I've removed the, um, the leftover part of the, uh, let me show you right here. I went ahead and peeled off the lining that's on the edges of my images, this part. I took all of that off so that I could just lay these down, remove the adhesive, and I could kind of color these all at one time. I thought that was kind of clever. So that's what we're going to do. And you'll need some baby powder. Hopefully you've got some baby powder because this is going to be really quick and easy what I'm about to show you. And I, can, I may not use all of these. I can save some of these for another project. So it's kind of fun to do just a bulk a, amount of foiling all at one time. All right, baby powder. Here we go. I've got some baby powder here, and I'm going to go ahead and slip just a piece of scratch spare paper under here for my sprinkling the baby powder. Oops. I, I knew I'd make a mess. Okay. All right, so basically you just want to sprinkle some powder on there and rub it on, and that just pretty much takes the foil off super easy. I mean, not the foil, the adhesive. Um, you know what I mean, right? Okay. So I'm going to tap that off now that I've made a complete mess. And let me pause this so I can clean up my mess and I'll be right back. Okay, so the mess is cleaned up. My craft mat is looking pretty rough these days. I've used it so much, it's just looking pretty rough. So I thought I would just use a little acrylic sheet for my next uh, step for coloring those foam. Um, make sure that I've got off as much of that powder as I can. As you can see, there's still just a little bit more coming off. All right, so what I'm going to do is I've got a couple different colors here that I'm going to use, fallish colors. I've got my Ranger. Sorry about that. Got my Ranger Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. I've got Spiced Marmalade, and I've got some Distress Ink and Brushed Corduroy. So let's start by using a little bit of the Distress Oxide, and I'm just going to press that onto the um, acrylic sheet, or whatever you want to call this. It's just a scrap that I had. I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of water and then I'm just going to kind of dab my stuff into that. See? There we go. I'm going to keep dabbing. All right. I don't want to like totally cover everything. So I don't want to get as much as that as I can. Okay. That looks good. I like that. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, dry that. And then we may, and I'm going to have to be careful drying this because um, this is foam and I don't want to shrivel up, shrivel up my foam. So I'm going to be careful drying it. Just dry it for a few seconds and then we might try to add a little bit more color. So let me do that and I will be right back. I'll be using my heat tool and I'll finish and be right back. All right, I'm back and I don't know if you can see this really good in good detail. But that looks super cool and that's just one color. Isn't that neat? I think what I want to do is add some water splatters and just see if the oxide in the sink will react with the water on top of the foam. Let's just see. Just sprinkle some in your hands, splatter it, and it looks like it is going to react. Yay. Okay. And then I'm going to just dab it here. Oh boy, that is so cool. I love that. 
Let me bring it up closer where you can see it. That looks really neat. I'm almost wondering if I should add more color. I think I do want to add some of the, the dark brown, the brushed corduroy. So let's go ahead and bring the little craft mat back, which is just a little bit of acrylic sheet. And we're going to also add just a spritz of water to that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing we did a minute ago, just kind of barely tap some of this on here. This is looking good, looking good. Okay. All right, now let me clean that up. I'll tell you what, the one thing about using just a scrap piece of acrylic sheet, if you don't have a fancy glass mat, because I don't, um, it just cleans up so easy, and it doesn't stain like my craft mat does. All right, I'm going to go off camera and dry this again, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we've got the finished product. Well, my camera shut off. I hit the wrong button. Golly, this has been a day. All right, so this is the finished product. I just wanted to see if you could see it close up. Um, I think I like it so much, just like it is, that I'm not going to bother add or adding any of the orange colors to it. I'm just going to leave it like it is. So, I'm getting ready to, sorry, embellish um, my mini album. So let's pull it back out. Goodness, I'm bumping everything. Okay, oh, and uh, also I wanted to show you, uh, I just left out a separate recipe card here. And in case you wanted to see how I did the edges on that, I don't like to assume that everybody knows how to use this dress ink. And I just, you know, try to once in a while show the newbies how it's done. So what I do is I've got just a little scrap piece of stuff, paper that I used. And I took my vintage photo distress oxide and dabbed around it, went around the edges, rubbed it in a little bit, went all the way around. And this is just a quick easy way to give a little bit of a um, an old world look, an old distressed vintage look to your paper. And I'm just doing the quick version, not smoothly blending it in like as much as I normally would, but I just keep on dabbing into that ink and getting more of the um, more of the ink and putting it onto my tag. And that's basically it in a nutshell. So there is one of the tags that I made, and just wanted to show it to you. Uh, by the way, I used for my tag my mini tag album. I use these wafer thin metal die set. This is a jumbo nesting tag die set. It's pretty big, pretty big. Don't know if you can see the whole thing in this in this frame, but anyway, that's what I used. Um, uh, it's exclusively sold at scrapbook.com. And I will have links to all the products that I used in my video description. So let's move along here. Um, and let's embellish our mini album, and I'll be adding this to my album as well. So I thought I would, I've got a couple blank spots in here where I want to add a few things. And I've got some stickers that came with my paper set, so I thought I would put a few of those in here. And you could also leave these blank and maybe just um, do some memory keeping on here as well. Isn't that cute? I think these little leaves are going to really be so cute in here. There we go. And uh, you can, I can put just as many as I want really. Each one of these is, um, there's room on both sides of the album. Let me come out a little bit. There we go. Um, I don't think I want to embellish my recipe cards. I just want to leave those as is. 
but I do have these others that are, I think, appropriate to embellish. So let me go ahead and add something on here. And I may go in afterwards and add even more stuff for, for the sake of time today. I'm just kind of doing the bare minimum for this project and showing you uh, some of the different things that you can do with the leaves. And there's another sticker here that I really like. I'm going to add that. And it's going to go right here. Oops, got a little something stuck to it. where you can see it. And by the way, this little pumpkin can fold down flat. If you need to use that for storage, you can fold it down flat. So these are just so fun to do. And gosh, you can do so many different colors with these leaves. I mean, um, the it's really limitless in what you can do when you um, use that baby powder to take off the top layer of adhesive. These are so easy and fun to make. I've, I've been experimenting with this pro, uh, process for a while now, using just little adhesive dots too, and um, or foam dots actually is what I used. And you could do green for the leaves as well. You could mix in some other colors, but I just really like the way this looks today. So that is it in a nutshell. This is my tag recipe mini tag album. And I hope you like it. And like I said, the product links will be in the video description. You can see more photographs if you go to scrapbook-adhesives.com and click on the blog. And I will see you again another time. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you next time.